Go ahead. Good morning, traders. John Caruso coming to you here for the morning of uh, November 10th uh, with the futures market outlook for the day. Uh, taking a look back at yesterday, uh, we did see a big rotation day in the market. Uh, we saw a lot, uh, a big move out of the NASDAQ, a.k.a. your stay-at-home pandemic stocks. They finished down 2.4% on the day, while we saw widespread buying in the small cap index, a.k.a. the Russell 2000, up 3.3% yesterday. All of that was coming on the news uh, of Pfizer's vaccine announcement that supposedly is carrying a 90% effective rate. Uh, we also did see a uh, big bounce in the U.S. dollar off the low end of our trading range yesterday. Uh, the previous session on uh, Friday was signaling immediate from oversold, so, so to catch that bounce was not of much of a surprise uh, to us. Um, perhaps the market's going to be looking at uh, uh, negotiating with the idea of less Fed intervention out into 2021 now that we have uh, a vaccine on the horizon. Uh, gold got lit up yesterday, uh, went in free fall uh, from Sunday night to into Monday morning, uh, fell from 1960 Sunday night all the way back to 1853 at one point yesterday. Gold right now is just pretty much in a $100 range. Uh, until we can establish some uh, price acceptance above 1950 on the upside and below or below 1850 on the downside, uh, just looking at trading that uh, that range, uh, uh, 1950 to 1850 on the downside in gold. Uh, treasuries, uh, we have seen a big bounce in the 10-year yield here recently. Uh, we hit a high yesterday at 97 basis points. We're threatening a breakout, too bullish trend in the model that we're tracking. A close, a uh, multi-day close above 102 uh, on the 10-year yield would signal a bearish to bullish phase transition. So keep that in mind going forward. Oil. Uh, Growth significantly higher on the vaccine news yesterday, pricing in some future return of demand expectations. Uh, we are likely buyers going forward of crude oil. We would like to see the price settle back in uh, around 50. If we were to see that level, we'd be buyers of crude oil going forward. So keep that in mind. Uh, all the best out there today. If you want any more commentary on any of the additional markets, feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks.